Can you cook? Yeah. You can cook. You can cook. Yay! Oh! Hey! All kidding aside, I'm not mad at it. We're great in pickles. I'm Eli. I'm Josh. We're at 626 Night Market. We're gonna find someone to cook a pickle dish. Before we start picking randoms off the street, I'm gonna go first. Set the bar with my own pickle dish. Spoilers, the bar is on the floor. No, it's not. Three, two, one, go. Okay, this is what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna try to make a chopped cheese, but using a pickle as the sandwich bun. Careful with that, come on now. Oh, that was oh, sick, flawless, dude. bro. So here's how Kitchen League Street works. It's really taking everything not to take this from you and start doing it. It's a cooking competition where you're always competing against the last guy. The theme of today's episode is pickles. If the next person can cook something better than my pickle chopped cheese, Josh is gonna give them $100. Okay, they don't have to necessarily make a chopped cheese. No. They just gotta make something better. That's a big pickle. Okay, this is a decent sized pickle. I've seen bigger. Mm -hmm. This is the Eli way. See, that's what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. It's not good. Jalapenos. Oh yeah. Look at this guy, he knows how to chop up the jalapeno. Who would have thought? Oh, this is gonna be great, dude. You smell this? I wish he was not gonna be on a pickle, but here we are. Literally tw 20 seconds oh left. Oh my God. Oh, look at this, this is looking gorgeous. Oh my God, what is this? Look at that. I'm done. I'm ready to go. It's a chopped cheese in a pickle. This is nice. Bro, what it are doesn't, we doing? It doesn't look Let's just bad. end the day. It Let's just look... end the day. We don't need any more. This is my chopped cheese on a pickle. All kidding aside, I'm not mad at it. I don't okay. hate it. It's so salty. Yeah. That mixture that you did in a bun with a fresh tomato and a lettuce probably smacks. You think it's gonna be hard for us to top this today? Listen, the truth is, the conceptually, I don't know if someone's gonna be able to do that. I don't think so either. Taste-wise, they might. All right, let's hit the streets. It's fine if anyone can beat my pickle chopped cheese. My friend, can you cook? I can, I can cook a little bit. You can cook. Yeah, I can cook. If you can make a better dish than this pickle dish right here, you get $100. Wait, do you I can do that, it. Do you even know what that is? I don't know what that is. It looks tasty. Oh, okay. Looks a little interesting. Okay. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> let's do it. We're in the kitchen with Michael, aka Mike's Cuts. He's a barber, although he forgot when he cut his own hair. Bro, Josh is starting That's early. Crazy. Dude. That's Before crazy. the competition started. He wants started. the money. You want okay. the money, bro. Okay. Let's go. If you impress Josh, you get one hundred dollars. You actually don't really have to impress me. You just have to do better than he did. That's right. Okay. Okay. It's not hard. Okay. okay. We'll put ten minutes on the clock. Ready, set. Go. Let's right, go, here Mike. Go, here we go. He's wearing the pickle colors. I don't even know how you did that, but it's a good sign. You're ahead, you're ahead of the game here. Do you have uh, Do you have any idea what you're doing right now? I'm going for the fried pickle. It's a lot of oil. That is a lot of oil. It's a lot of oil, bro. Josh, have you ever heard of a fried pickle? We're of moving we're into the pickle. pickles here. So Let's Michael see. and I were actually talking before. Apparently, he's more of a baker than a, a chef. A baker? Yeah. I bake a little bit. I make some breads. All right, here okay. we go. Here we go. Let's go. Fried pickle, pickle juice. Chips. That's a sour. Oh! oh! Hey! We'll do that action for you. All right, so you hoop. Yep. Do you hoop professionally? One day, I will hoop professionally. I played a little college ball, and I actually played in a 3v3 big three tournament pretty recently. Do you dunk? I can rim graze. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> rim graze? I can graze the rim. <laughs> That's a short man asking. Yeah. Can you dunk? Nothing crazy. <laughs> Wait, we're not really doing salt. We're not feeling the salt. No. Not feeling the salt right now. Listen, you know why? Because he tasted the pickle before, yep. and he found that the pickle is super salty. Am I right, Michael? Yeah. You, you think we got some onion powder around these parts? Probably. Do I think? What did you just do? You put garlic, garlic. garlic and then garlic again? I had to double up on the garlic. I, 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 I like vampires. this. I like this. Garlic. Where are you from originally? Sacramento, California. I was actually born in Orange County and then moved to Sacramento for the most of the majority of my life. Okay. So sorry about that. A fry in 10 minutes is crazy right now. I'll tell you one thing, it's a little smarter than making a freaking chopped oh, cheese out of a pickle. Here, it's pickle time. You plan on making like a, a sauce little, or like, something? I'm thinking either a little chipotle, <laughs> oh, a little, nope, nope. third one to try. Oh! Yes. Nope, hey, it didn't work. Hey, four times the charm, go ahead. I'm thinking either chipotle mayo mm -hmm. or a little spicy ranch vibe, boom. Woo! Okay, we like what we see. I like what we see too. I'm kind of curious how thin pickles is gonna hold up with this much batter. Chipotle mayo vibe. I was gonna say, like typically you mix sauces in bowls. Yep. You're not you're not about that life. Make do with what you got. It's gonna be a good sauce, I feel. I'm listen, if it's mayo, it's good. That's the way I look at it. Yep. Not bad. We'll see how it pairs with the pickle. 
All right, 30 seconds. He's going to start drying these pickles off. Oh. I don't know, Eli. Time is ticking away. A little pat. We'll give him the pat dry. Five, four, plate three, it up. Plate it up. two, one. Woo! Fried pickles in 10 minutes. Fried pickles in 10 minutes. Good work, man. Give it up to Michael. Fried pickles, golden brown over here. We got some chipotle mayo to go with it. We'll see what Josh is thinking. Oh, it got a nice little crunch on here. Okay. I could feel it right away, not soggy. I like crunch. Dude, it is crunchy. You not did bad. pull off a crunch. Not bad. Michael, we're gonna step away. We're, me and Josh are gonna deliberate. Hang tight, let's see if you won this $100. All right. All right, I have a lot of thoughts. Was a little worried about the 10 minutes, but it ended up working out, and overall, I was pretty happy. Yours was very ingenuitive. Yes. Very smart. I like the way you like incorporated the pickle, did something that was kind of like very unique. Yes, it was. However, I kept eating the fried pickles. I didn't want to eat any more of the chopped cheese. So I think it's visually, it was definitely a nicer looking and more appealing dish than the chorizo pickle that I saw. Not sure what that was, but I didn't want to like flatter him too much in person, but I did want another one. Yeah. I'm very surprised. He definitely put it in, like he made a batter in 10 minutes, he, he fried did. pickles, and he made a sauce. I think I might win the 100. I think I might have that. Do you think he's gonna win $100? Michael, it's time to find out if you impressed Josh enough to win $100. Josh, how did he do? All right, so here's the deal. Fried pickles, way more impressive than I thought anyone randomly would be able to do. Therefore, Michael, pay yourself for a new haircut. You win $100. <laughs> 100. Give it up to Michael, y'all. Guys, let's go find out if anyone can now beat Michael's dish. Can anyone cook? Can you cook? You can cook. You can cook. Yay. Yeah. Go. Beat us over there. Yeah. All right. You can cook? Yeah. Okay. Can you make a better dish than this? Fried pickles with a sauce. All right. Let's see. Let's see. We got a kitchen set up right here. All right. We are here with. Michelle. Michelle, you're gonna have 10 minutes to make a dish better than the last person and impress Josh Elkin. Inspired by pickles. Three, two, one, go! Do you have any idea what you're making right now? Oh, I'm gonna totally make a burger. A burger? You're make a burger? A burger in 10 minutes. That is impressive. How are you gonna make it pickle centric though? Oh, I'm getting there. You're making a burger for real. I am making a burger for real. See what you're doing here? Yeah. She's just throwing it on the pan and calling it quits. You're putting garlic in there too. Damn, okay. Michelle, where'd you learn to cook? I learned to cook from my grandmother and my mom. Okay. Do you eat a lot of pickles? I actually hate pickles. You hate pickles? I oh, do. Snap. But you know what? I can make it work. No one's like pickles. Two people so far and they don't like pickles. I don't know what's wrong with everybody. Pickles are delicious. A bread and butter pickle is too sweet for me. Like I'm just like I want my pickles to be savory. I know, but when you eat it, you're like taking it in, you know what you're getting into. It's like nobody knows what they're getting into with a bread don't and butter pickle. Don't expect to get a sour pickle. You're getting a sweet pickle. Okay, right into the skillet. Bread and butter is so trash. Shut up. Dude. You're trash. It is terrible pickle. So what do you do for a living? I am actually the administrative assistant to the president at Orange Coast College, which is right down the street. Education first, folks. Okay, I've seen a lot of colors go in. This is the most colorful dish we've had today. Oh! Oh, okay. So oh, we're going onions. Oklahoma style. What's Oklahoma style? It's when you fry the onions in with the burger. Five minutes left! Oh, beautiful color there. Honestly, that looks pretty good. Yeah, butter! 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 Oh, yes. Oh, my God. Let's I knew go. we'd get some chefs out here at the 626. The only kind, dill. Ranch. Ranch! I'm not mad at it. This is Josh Elkin. Have you ever seen his Instagram page? No, I have not. Josh Elkin. I'm leaving. I'm sorry. It's okay. Never heard of him. I'm He's... kind of a big dill. He has uh... 300 followers and he makes uh, things out of eggs. I never skip egg day. <laughs> this is smelling amazing. Honestly, this I'm very so excited. Good. Very excited. Sweating the onions. The cheese is melting. Two minutes! Well, the pickles reign supreme in this dish, though. And that's you know? the thing. What do you okay. got there? There's more pickles? OK, yeah. OK. I think we could use more pickles. That's it is a I pickle think. competition. I'm just saying. We're there great we in pickles. We're great in pickles. Yeah. Making a little bit of pickle aioli. One minute. Yeah, OK. It's a pickle aioli. Whoa! Oh! Hang on. That was a shit ton of paprika. Yo, this is going to be crazy. I love a good mayo burger. Oh my, oh god. my god. Oh my gosh. Wow. Three. Two, one. Wow. Step away from the pickle burger. Holy wow. cow. Good job. Damn. I'm looking at all the ingredients I've got. I've 
looking over here at the pantry and I'm just like, okay, I do need to put pickles in it even though I freaking hate pickles. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, pickles in the meat. We'll do some pickles on the condiments mm. and let's just go with it. Okay. That's a nice looking dish. That's a good looking burger. Yeah. It's a tasty bite. There's a lot of pepper in there. A lot of pepper in there. All right, Michelle, we're gonna take a second to deliberate. Hang tight right. here. Good luck. Thanks. Very tasty bite. I like that she went over and above. She was a little ambitious with what she did. Was it a pickle centric dish? Definitely not. Honestly, I hate pickles. And so this was a really big challenge for me to actually incorporate pickles into the cooking. She doesn't like pickles. Who doesn't like pickles? I don't know, man. That was weird off the gate, bro. I think we just nixed her. Honestly, the best thing I could think about with pickles is a classic burger. And if I can do that within like 10 minutes, here it is. You need to use pickles as the main thing. And sadly, Michelle failed miserably. I think my dish does like outshine the other dish before me. So I have full confidence in my burger. You think it's enough to beat the last person? Michelle, what you did do today was cook a burger in 10 minutes. What you didn't do is embody the pickleness of this competition. Was it a tasty burger? Definitely tasty burger. Super flavorful, maybe a little misstep on dumping a half a jar of paprika, but even though you added pickles to the meat, even though you made the pickle aioli after, we're, after we told you to make it basically, sadly, it wasn't pickle enough to beat fried pickles. However, with that being said, it was the best bite of the day, and I think that you still deserve that $100. Okay, congratulations. Give it up for Michelle. That was a weird roller coaster, Josh. Thanks, man. We're gonna find if anyone could cook whoa, a better whoa. dish. When we were finding the last person, oh. that guy stopped us oh. and he said that he could beat anybody because he saw the money. So yeah, yeah, we let's already get had that, that guy. guy. This guy's talking so much heat. I you no, better not no. fail. Come on in. Come What's on up, in. What's your name? Uh, Iman. Iman. Yeah. Good to meet you, Iman. Josh. You too. So you it. can cook a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you like to cook? Spaghetti and you know easy stuff. Tell Ten me. minutes. I cook something that has to do with pickles. Yes. Pickles. Pickles okay. is the theme. The deal. He's going to host next season, all right? Hey, Here we go. We're going right. to put 10 minutes on the clock. Are okay. you ready? No, not yet. What? <laughs> Can I go wash my hands yeah. really good? Yeah, yeah okay. okay. Yeah, I like I'm, it. Okay. All right, all right. Okay. 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 Imam will be back. Hey, what if when he came back, the whole set was gone? We just leave. <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Oh my God, we got milk. We are making pickle cereal. Do you have any idea what you're doing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. The confidence. Not a pickle in sight. Do you cook right often, now. Iman? Uh, I, when I stay with my grandmother, I don't, but back home, I do. Back home. Where do you live? Uh, North Carolina. Iman, what do you do for a living? Uh, hey, bullshit. Bullshit? Hey, there we no. go. <laughs> That's what's up. Okay, right. me too. <laughs> I'm out in the street. No uh, bacon, there it is. This is going to be like a pickle relish. Oh, Woo! here we go now. Pickle relish. Now we're talking. Do we ask you what you're making? Uh, hamburger. A hamburger? Yeah. So you're gonna make a hamburger after the person just made a hamburger. Yep. That is bold. That's confidence right there. That's bold. Very thinly sliced, sliced pickles. pickles. Very, very, you know, texture, it matters, right? Of course. What did the last lady do? She just put pickles on a burger, right? She put, no, she put pickles in the burger. Oh, that's BS. And yeah. you keep taking stuff out of the pot. <laughs> because ratio, ratio, ratio. Okay. Oh yeah. Right? You know, I'm gonna use the pickle juice for sourness. That's why he washes his hands. That's why he washes his hands. He knew what he was He's gonna do. He's using it as a funnel. Damn that bacon getting crispy. Damn, you're putting a lot of pepper in there. The back of that spatula has touched everything. <laughs> Four yeah. minutes! I don't even know where he's gonna build this burger anymore. I don't know where the burger is. Where's the burger at? Okay, smashing a little bit. Smash it in your hands, and then put it in the pan. Just, just a little DJ on the hot pan, that's I good. Do we think he's gonna get a dish plated today? Yes, we do. Okay, I believe in it. Oh, I like it, crisping up the buns. So far, one pickle element. Woo! Okay, okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're pickle talking. <laughs> just pickle juice yeah, on everything, yo. Right you right, are my pickle that. muse. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Close enough. Uh, One right, minute! Right. Whoa! Oh, hell yeah. oh, let's now, go! Don't, come let's on now. Let's go! Yeah. Right, we got the burger just, meat, we got the on, pickles. Yeah, that on, looks like... Make uh, it more random! Bit. Not so much a burger, but almost. Five. Talk to him. Four. Talk to him. He's counting three, himself three, down. Let's go! Two. Two. two one. Hey. Let's go! Okay, okay, yeah, okay, buddy. Okay. That was amazing. Good yeah, work, bro. Buddy. Good work. I don't know. What can I say? I like sandwiches. I think it's one of the most classic ways you can use the, the, the pickle inside a hamburger. But I said, let's do that. I don't know if we'd call it a burger, right. but it's definitely something. <laughs> All righty, Mom. Yeah. I want you to hang tight. 
Me and Josh are gonna go deliberate and find out if you win a hundred dollars. Oh my god! Thank All right, you. hang tight. Go, go, go. So this guy ended up making a burger. It was not a burger. So there's a lot of nuance here. Like he said he was gonna make a burger and then he introduced it as a sandwich. But as we know, a burger kind of is a sandwich. But he, I think he was playing with us a little bit there. I think I might have done it, um, but it, it wasn't my best work. In my opinion, dude, that sauce was incredible. I know it was a slaw. Yeah. But like it played it was a as sloppy a sauce. slaw. It was so good. Yeah. It was so peppery. Let's not call it a sauce. Let's call it a condiment. Right? Yeah. Peppery, because he put a half a gallon of pepper inside, but pickly. He, pickly. It was very, very pickly. Pickly. It wasn't as pickly as the dish before. Yeah. It wasn't, yeah. but this is a burger I would actually pay for. I wouldn't pay for the previous one. I would pay for this burger. Let's call it what it is. They're all better than your chopped cheese. Alrighty, man. You did good, man. It's hard to cook anything in 10 minutes, let alone a dish, let alone when you were in a different mind state. You came here to shop. You stepped up to Kitchen League Street. But it's not up to me. It's up to Josh. Josh, how did he do on this dish? Did he win $100? Sadly, unlike real cooking shows, we didn't have a rolling boil of pot of water on the side for Iman to make his classic world famous spaghetti and meat sauce. But he did throw down by making a non-burger sandwich. There are really good elements in this in this dish. Uh, I like that you use bacon. I like that you use your fingers instead of actual kitchen tools. That shows gusto. It shows moxie. You not only made a very pickly slaw sauce, you washed the avocado in pickle juice. You won. Oh, for, Congratulations, uh, man. Give it up for Iman. Give it, give it, give it, give Congratulations. Give it, give it, give it, give it. That's a wrap on this episode of Kitchen Lee Street. I want to thank Josh Elkin, the Josh Elkin for joining us. Guys, let me know down in the comments where we should show up to next and set up a little Kitchen Lee Street action. If you know how to cook, tag a friend down below. Let us know where to go. Till next time.